Hey guys, how you doing? So this is a, a quick video looking at an air filter size calculator. So if you've noticed, um, some cars, the, the air filter box that's used on the base model is the same as is used on the top of the range model. So one that crops the mind is the Audi A3. So you've got the 1.4 and the 1.6 models are using the same air filter box as the S3. So while the air filter box may be more than big enough for the 1.4, for the for the two liter S3, um, even from the factory, the air filter box is going to be quite close to the limit. You know where it starts causing a restriction. Now, if you put a program on your S3 and you're still using the standard air box, you know you could be having a restriction there. You know you could have, be having a vacuum between the turbo and the air filter, which is robbing you of power. So this page here, I'll put a link to it in the video description, it's just a very a basic air filter size calculator so you put in your engine specs and you can work out if the if it's possible that the air filter that you're using there is a restriction or not so the first step is to calculate the airflow of your engine so in this uh, in this example I've just put in 7200 rpm as a red line engine capacity of 2 litre, volume, volumetric efficiency of 90%. If it's turbo, it's going to be over 100%. But in this example, I'm just going to put 90 in. And this will tell you the airflow uh, per minute that goes through the engine at uh, maximum, at maximum power. So you, looking at K&N, uh, they say that for an airflow of 12,000 litres per minute, you need a recommended filter area of 596 square centimetres. So if we convert that into something uh, easier to work with, so for a thousand litres of airflow, you need around uh, 50 square centimetres of uh, filter area, i.e. Uh, the, the filter area that you need, not to cause a restriction. Um, and then go on to say an airflow that can never be so big, never be too big. So let's aim for a figure of 100 square centimetres per thousand litres or thousand litres per minute of airflow. Always good to go. Always good to go big with an air filter. The bigger the air filter, the slower the air will be moving through the air filter, which gives you better filtration. And the bigger the air filter is, uh, the more the bigger the dust capacity, so you don't need to clean it or change it so often. So 100 is sort of optimum. If you can get to 100, it's that's great. Um, and then once you know your airflow liters per minute from the first calculation that you did, you bang it in here. And then it will tell you your um, your ideal uh, air filter size. So just put it in there, press enter, and that will give you the filter area that you you need. So five seven six is how much air filter you need in square centimeters for a hundred square centimeters per thousand liters per minute target. If you go down to seventy square centimeters. Uh, you're looking at around a 403 square centimeter. So this this is the air filter size that, that we're aiming for in this example. Uh, so once you know this, the area that you need, you can put in the filter size that you have now. So if you have a comb filter, you can put in the dimensions here. You put in the filter height, let's say 20 centimeters, base width 20 centimeters, top width. It's a comb filter. It's a little bit narrow at the top, so we'll put 15 centimeters there. If you've got um, the top of your filter has also got a filter element in it, just put the filter top within again here. If not, just leave, just leave it blank. So all those things together and it tells you very approximately that the filter surface area is 1099 square centimeters, uh, which is more than large enough for the airflow that we have in this example. 576 is the maximum that we need, you know, best case scenario. And this is a 1,099 square centimeter uh, size filter, so more than enough, more than enough um, uh, airflow. Um, and then the next thing down, then we've got horsepower rate in max. So this is at the maximum power that this air filter will support. So we're looking at around 439 horsepower. And then you know it should be all right also with 329. 439 is like oversized filter. 329 is normal. And then it gives you a non-pleated air filter, so um, like a paper, uh, not a paper, a foam filter, for example. And these are your figures for that. Um, and then it also gives you the calculations for if you're using a panel filter. So if you've got the original filter box, you can also see if it's big enough or not. 
Um, so if you've got a 30 centimeters by 20 centimeter panel filter, you're given a 600 square centimeter. So for this example, um, you know, we're, we're in the ballpark. It's uh, plenty big enough, basically. Um, and then if it's a um, pleated air filter, uh, it's a horsepower rating of uh, 360. And if it's a flat air filter, you're looking at about 240 for like a foam filter, for example. So this will give you a very, very basic a ballpark idea if the air filter that you're using is big enough for the car that you have, the horsepower that you're making. There's other ways you can do this. Um, you can use a vacuum gauge between the air filter and the turbo and that is that will tell you 100% for sure if the air filter that you're using or if the intake system that you have is causing a restriction or not. That is the foolproof way to do it. Um, and then if you've got a car without a turbo, um, just put a, a vacuum gauge on the, taking a, a reading from the inlet manifold and that will tell you if you've got any restriction in your intake system between the air filter up until the um, inlet manifold. Um, but again, if you haven't got the plumbing or you just want to, you know, a quick, uh, something quick and easy, a lot easier just to put the figures into these, um, into these calculations than it is to... Uh, you know, wire in or uh, fit in a, um, a vacuum gauge. So that's it, guys. Um, I'll put it like I said. I'll put a link to this page in the video description. If you're curious or you're concerned that the air filter you're using might not be big enough for the air, for the power that you're making, this will help you give you a these formulas here will help give you an idea. Um, um, but like the most foolproof way is, um, like I said, is to put a, a vacuum gauge between your air filter and your turbo, and that will tell you 100% for sure if there's a restriction there or not. Um, and a vacuum gauge on a um, on a normally aspirated car will tell you if there's a 100% um, sure if there's any restriction in your intake system or not. So guys, as always, hope you find the video interesting. Uh, please uh, vote on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again next time.